down strange charm. Top bottom, if you don't know what it work is, it don't matter. You still got them, and with leptons and bosons, and with some things in this, they make up everything that we can see and that we know exists. No oh, up, down strange charm. Top bottom, if you don't know. And what is a court, Grimshaw? You insolent boy! Answer me! Well, for all your dimwits, I'll have to explain what a cork is, won't I? Quarks are a group of fundamental particles that interact with very strong force. There are six different types of quarks, which are called flavors. Because of the quantum properties of quarks, they cannot exist on their own. This means that they are always found in combinations that are called hadrons. A quark paired with an antiquark forms a particle called a meson. A combination of three quarks is called a baryon. The two most common and most important of the hadrons are the proton and the neutron, that, that are constituent parts of the atom. They form the nucleus of an atom which is positively charged and contains the majority of its mass. Because of the extremely high temperatures of the early universe, quarks have enough energy to exist and bounce each other. This is known as quark gluon plasma to physicists that's in the primary of the universe. The theory of quarks was proposed independently by both Murray Gallman and George Zweig in 1964. The first quark was found in 1968 and the top quark was finally found in 1995. Come on Martin, get off stage you lazy! Welcome back to the Jeremy Kyle Show. I'm Jeremy Kyle. So today we have a scientific special. Hold on to your seats kids. We're going to be talking about science scientifically. First, let's have on our first scientist, Maureen Gelman. Maureen. Sorry Maurice. Come on down! Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. So, what is all, all this queet? Quarks. Oh, yeah, quarks, right, yeah, what is it? Well, I came up with the theory to describe how they make up most of the mass in the universe. They are um, fundamental to our existence. They make up most of, um, they make up the nucleus of the, um, This is called the Jeremy Kyle Show. Oh, sorry, sorry, Maurice. Um, uh, oh, where was I? Uh, how did you do this? Well, in Fermilab, we came up with an experiment where we um, fired high, high energy um, electrons at a proton and found that they deflected off at certain angles, and this was um, repeated and repeated until we found that they were three regular structures. Sorry, sorry, I forgot where I was there. Um, but our sources, in fact, say, Maurice, it wasn't you who discovered the quark. And after a secret light detector test, we found out it was, in fact, Sir, what have you comment on this? How dare you! Cut the bell! The last property of quarks is colour charge. There are six types of colour charge red, green, blue. Anti-red, anti-green, anti The first three are needed for quarks, the second three are needed for anti-quarks, but all six are needed for conservation of interaction. I'm Reverend Colour! I'm here to talk to you about quarks and curves. And as you know, quarks make up the hadrons such as a proton and a neutron. Can I get an amen? Amen! When they interact, the red quark emits a red gluon and an anti-green gluon. Can I get a hallelujah? Praise Murray Gellman. Hallelujah. When they interact, the green quark absorbs the red gluon and the anti-green gluon, changing into a red and a green quark. Hallelujah. Can I get praise Murray Gellman. Praise Murray Gellman. As you can see, these are all kept in this radical equation. Bam! The red is conserved and the greens cancel out. And in the second equation, the complete opposite happens. Can I get an amen? Amen. Can I get another amen? Amen. Can I get a third and final amen? Amen. Right, but this isn't just for the baryon, it also for the meson. Ain't that a beautiful meson? Praise the Lord, as you can see, like the baryon, the red quark lets out and a red gluon and an anti green gluon. Let's tell you what this do, I'm gonna tell you what they do. They oscillate, they oscillate like Big Mom around the buffet table. Hallelujah! Bam! 
Ain't that beautiful? But why does this happen? I'm going to tell you why this happens. This happens because quarks must exist in groups, and this is why we find them in the meson and the barium. This is because color is Simon Little, color confirmed. Hallelujah. They coexist like me and Big Mama live together on a Friday night. Hello.